really good, and uh, I think they they got a, they have a chance to. Uh, uh, they're, I believe they're an NCAA tournament team, and I believe they'll have a chance to, with their shot blocking ability and their inside play and post play, they're a really difficult match for everyone. So I think they got a, a great a run left in them, both in this regular season and in the uh, postseason. So we move very quickly to a team with a lot of similarities with more shot blockers uh, with Ohio State that seems to be coming after a transitional from losing some good seniors and, uh, and a great, great freshman last year, all rookie, all rookie of the year player uh, and a lottery pick uh, to the transition in the fall seems to smooth out and they are really playing well right now. So uh, same thing, we, we going down there, we've had some really uh, tough losses down there. We, we've, uh, we did get a good win, uh, I believe, uh, two times ago when we went down there. They really got us badly last year there where the game was over early. So we are got to be at our best and see what we can do. So we'll see uh, as we go further. Uh, uh, we're going to practice today. Uh, we did very little yesterday with anybody, including Karras, as we try to reassess where he is after that all that active action. Zach did nothing. Derek did almost nothing. We walked through for 20 minutes because those high minute guys are being taxed right now, and they're, they're warriors. I can't say enough about Zach Irvin's performance. Forget about the baskets. If anybody would have watched him play two years ago, listen, you're going to do push-ups down there uh, with half the game with uh, Caleb Swanigan, and you're still going to be our best offensive player at the other end. That never would have happened. The push-ups would have become nothing at the other end. For him to play as hard as he did defensively and then still control us, run our offense, basically, with Derek having an off day, it was, it, it's a big step for him. How did Karras feel physically after the game? But everybody was sore yesterday, yeah. including him. I mean, everybody. The basketball is a, is a, a very difficult game. So uh, everybody was sore. Mark couldn't go you know, as, as much as he wanted to from the banging. But overall, he was sore all over. Okay. He was sore all over. How, how fast can 10 minutes reasonably turn into 15 or 20 or 30 percent? That'll, be, that'll really be based on him. I mean, today he's going to try to go out there and see what he can do, but this is going to be a process now. You know, they're going to be, as he, we try to get him more and more into it, uh, if we see any type of thing that could uh, risk re injury, uh, he's, we don't want him in there. Just watching, it doesn't seem, it seems like there's more physical play again in the Big Ten. Uh, are you starting to see? A little bit more of that down the stretch than you did earlier. Yeah, I, I think that was a that was not. Uh, I, I know we were trying to go into this year. Everybody was trying to go to you know, freedom of movement and all these type of things was happening. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, of hand things that are being called and big body bumps that are, that are still not being called. So I think we got we're trying to figure out how we can make this game smoother. Uh, and it's, it's not easy. It's not easy for the officials and for the coaches to coach it. Uh, but we're going to keep trying to find a way to do that. A little off that topic, have you, do you track charges taken? And have you seen those fall off a little, some? Yeah, I don't track them as a number. Uh, we, we, we know who's taking them for our team. I think that has been a good rule, actually. I, I, it's certainly clean, cleaner than it was two years ago. That was awful. And so there was no way of stopping a driving guy uh, it, because it was virtually you had to be there, you know, the day before in order to get a charge. And so now I think they, ha they that's been pretty clean and the arc's been pretty good too. In terms of reworking Karras, you know, kind of yeah. reshaping the, the rotation yeah. around him, um, I would think the last game was more for him to kind of shake off some, some cobwebs yeah. as opposed to actually yeah. making progress. In we, that. As I told you guys the other day, we were just like, okay, can he play or not play? We were trying to do what's best for him. So we have, we have these sets of plays run for different people depending on how they're playing us. It's like it's to be this huge puzzle. Is it, does this team play the ball screen this way? Then that's a set of plays for one guy. If he plays it this way, it's another one. So now you're going into a game, you don't know whether he can play or not. It's... it's it's frankly not smooth right now because we're just trying to get him back. So uh, we went in the game and he was a, just going to be a role player the whole time. Exactly what you say, just get in there, give us some depth, right? Which he gave, me, you know, those extra minutes he gave rest where maybe Zach had to be out there. He was out there a lot of minutes anyhow. But there, there was just, he's sort of just getting his wits about him right now about playing again. And I guess the, the conversation we've had so many times about 
trying to figure out how to get you know Derek to have his piece game, his best game, yeah. and Zach to have his best game yeah. at the same time. Now with and, and there, getting Duncan open. That's the right. three things we got to sort of put together. We're trying. And we're trying. There's, there's, we we got to do a better job of that. Uh, and I'll just say Duncan's got to cut harder, as hard as he can. That's not easy. That's like that is that is hard to be. It's like running a sprint, you know. And he's got to sprint more in order to get open. He's got to. You got to watch the Kyle Corvers who are not a whole lot about athletically, but they run as fast as they can. He's sort of learning that now. But again, you got to. I can't get open. Well, you got to, and I got to find more angles to get them open too. But get them all three together would be big. We we got good points out of the big man as well. And then Mohammed, when Mohammed makes shots, right, we're a much better team. So are you kind of changing or starting over? It is evolving as we speak. I mean, seriously. And then you play a different team. I'm just telling you, this is like sometimes you think like it's football when you're playing a wishbone one day. Right, and then you're playing against the spread the other day, but you got to do it in one practice, and you got to do it, and you don't know whether this guy can play that game or not. It is not a thing that I enjoy, uh, but it is part of the job.